Let's talk about how to change filters on the system. The first thing you do is turn off the water going in. You want to stop any more cold water from entering the system. And then the second thing you do is open a valve to let the pressure out. So you can open the one either before or after the DI, it makes no difference. It'll go psh, and water will shoot out of it briefly. And now it's ready for you to change filters. To change filters, you just need a filter wrench. And this is included with your RO system. All you do is put the wrench underneath, give it a little bit of a push, just a little bit, that's all you need. And now you can unscrew it to remove that housing with the filter inside it. Normally this is screwed to a wall, so it's not so bouncy. This would be your sediment filter that you would remove. It probably will be orange or brown, and they should be white at all times. A lot of people post pictures of the RO systems online and I see a brown filter. Change it out. This is a very inexpensive filter, it's $5. You could change this frequently if you like, just so it stays nice and clean. Because it's like trying to breathe through a stuffed nose. You know what that's like. The more dirty this is, the less water is passing through it to the rest of the system. Here's your brand new sediment filter. It's just wrapped where you just peel this right off. You'll drop it inside. So I'll just pretend I unwrap this. And here's our brand new filter. <laughs> All you have to do is set it inside, put it underneath, screw it back on. Oh, one more thing I'll tell you real quick. Inside of this housing is an O-ring right here. And you want to make sure that O-ring stays in place. It is possible for it to flop out or to get creased or crinkled. So make sure that it goes in and that it's sitting straight within the housing before you screw this back on. You only hand tighten filter housings. Never use the wrench. Use the wrench to remove it. You hand tighten to put it back on. So we've replaced the sediment. Then we would move on to the carbon. Same principle, but I have something to explain to you about this. That's why I'm taking this off because you're thinking, I just saw how he did that. So now we've got this carbon block filter. Carbon block is a solid carbon inside the center wrapped with this mesh and it's got a rubber washer on both ends. Sometimes when you take a dirty one out, the rubber washer falls off and stays in the bottom of your housing. And then when you try to put the new one in, it's sitting on top of double washers and it's too tall. So make sure you check that you don't have that extra washer in there. You want it out of there. Here's your O-ring. And so when you unwrap your new one, you would make sure that there is an O-ring on both ends the flat washer, I should say. You would set it inside, you put it under the bracket and you hand tighten it again. And then repeat for the third one. That's, that's as hard as it is to change. These are called the pre-filters because they pre-filter the membrane. Then to replace the DI, you would use the same wrench. This would be screwed to a wall so this would be a lot easier to loosen. Unscrew it, and it'll have water in there too, so it might even drip. You might have to throw a towel under this when you're changing something. Remove the housing. Again, this is screwed to the walls. I have to let go. Take out your DI. You'll notice that the DI has an arrow on both sides of the housing. This is to tell you which way is up. If you install a DI upside down in your housing, no water is going to come out, and you'll think your system is broken, and it's just you put it in upside down. This is color changing DI resin. When it gets wet, it will be black. As it gets consumed, it will turn orange. It's just a visual indicator to give you a clue what's going on, but you want to use a TDS meter to measure what is coming out of the DI resin. This only lasts a certain amount of time and it varies for every single person. So I can't just say you can count on six months or you can count on four months. It depends on your water at your house and how often you use your system. You put in your brand new DI, I sell these like this, ready to go. You just peel it right out of the bag and install it in your system. Big flat washer on the top. Make sure the O-ring is intact and hand tighten. You do not need the wrench for this either. And that's it. Then all you have to do is close your valve, turn the water back on and let it pressurize.